Hey guys, what's up? Alex here back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to create the effect I showed you guys in the video example and it's a little effect I like to call the velocity shot just because it seems to add a little more momentum to your shots in your video clip. So I'm going to try and make this a really short tutorial and on your timeline you want to have your video clip ready and you want to select all the shots that you want to add the effect to. So I'm going to use this example right here. It's a really quick shot so I'm going to go into my event pan crop option and you want to make sure the scene cursor is selected so that you can uh, move the cursor on this timeline and it'll produce the same image real time on the preview screen. So while you scroll in using your mouse button, you can zoom in on to the timeline and it's going to show each individual frame. Now basically the velocity shot is basically just using this option and zooming in and then rotating out. So what we're going to do is before you zoom out of your scope, you want to go ahead and go back two frames and on the top timeline we're going to go ahead and create a new keyframe that will be our reference keyframe for the original uh, uh, crop next we're going to go to the next frame and we're going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to go ahead and go on the outside box and you should have this little rotation symbol on the cursor. You want to go ahead and select it and drag it sideways. Either way is fine. And you're going to make sure you rotate it until the two boxes on either corner hits the border of the video. So when you zoom out, you want to make sure there's no black lines on your preview screen. Okay, and since the rotation is going to slowly zoom out slowly, we're going to go ahead and zoom out of our timeline and we're going to go all the way to about three seconds later, three seconds or more later, and at the end of the three seconds we're going to go ahead and create another keyframe so go ahead and create a keyframe and we're going to slowly rotate this back to its original uh, place so that should be 90 degrees or actually zero degrees to its original rotation and as for the cropping we're going to slowly zoom out as well but you don't want to zoom out all the way because if you zoom out all the way uh, the effect will go by really fast and you want it to be uh, kind of slow so that it lasts longer alright and by the end you should have something like this There you go, and that's the basis of this effect. You can add more video effects to this, so I'm just going to add one more effect, and I'm just going to go into my video effects tab, and go into my color curves, and add the default. And I'm gonna go ahead and animate the color curve. So again, I just want to go to the frame before I zoom out. And I'm going to get this little cursor right here, this little tangent, and I'm just going to drag it all the way to the top left hand corner. And I'm going to go ahead and go forward about two seconds. 
and I'm going to get this little tangent and bring it back down to its original place. And that's all I used to create the video example for this tutorial. So again, this is what you should have or look something like this after you follow this tutorial. And there you go. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, I'm kind of running low on video effect ideas. So if you can find any effects that really haven't been done yet, just send me a message or post your suggestions in the comments down below. I'll have a lot more effects uploaded in the following weeks. So give this video a like, share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time.